Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Jim Giggins. With us is uh, Young Park, who is a senior at Granada Hills High School and president of 4UNI, Teens Helping Teens Quit Smoking Club, right? That's correct. How successful do you think you're being in helping teens quit smoking? I think that we are really reaching out to teens for the first time because I haven't heard of any other organizations in my school that are asking them to stop smoking. So it's good that we are raising awareness and getting the word out there. So you're getting the word out. How do you get the word out to kids to, to quit smoking at your high school? Well, we hold a lot of events, like we, we promoted Red Ribbon Week where we had games and prizes and we had teens come and answer questions and that was really fun. Uh -huh. And the Red Ribbon was what, uh, the theme? Did you, why was it called Red, Red Ribbon Week? Red Ribbon Week is basically uh, anti-drugs mm -hmm. and I don't know why it's called uh -huh. Red Ribbon Week. Well, you had them come and they would get together and, and they would uh, try to convince other teens to quit smoking. Right. Why do you think that teens still smoke, given the fact that I think that ever since they were born, they were warned that smoking is not good for them? I think that even if you're warned to do it, if your friends are going to do it and you want to keep hanging out with your friends, then you're just going to get susceptible to that peer pressure and get around to doing what everybody else is doing. Do you think Tell me what you think as a teenager works. For example, if you tell a teen if you smoke, you might die of lung cancer, but does that work since they're thinking already 60, 70 years down the road? I actually think that if you tell them stuff that threatens their vanity, such as... <laughs> <laughs> That's better, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier. Like, you'll get wrinkles, uh, you'll, you're more likely to be overweight, stuff like that. And your breath smells or something like yeah. that. So if you, if, you, if you go to their vanity, mm -hmm. you think that you'll have more success. Yeah, I think so. So when you have these, um, it's, it's a club, a queen, a teens quit smoking club. Yes. What other events do you have or is the Red Ribbon the main event? Oh, no, no. Our main event is World No Tobacco Day, which we do every year. Last year we held it at the California Science Center, but this year we're doing it at the Third Street Santa Monica Promenade. Uh, we're going to be holding games and events there, and we're going to have the text to quit event there. Which the which event? I'm sorry. The text to quit. Oh, text to quit. Okay. Oh, interesting. How how, how does that work? So it's basically where we try and get as many people as possible to text out messages of anti-smoking, such as "Don't smoke" or "You'll choke." under one minute and see just how many people we can reach because we're really just trying to get the word out there and reach as many people as possible. And Third Street Promenade, what day is that going to be? That's going to be on May 30th. May 30th. Yeah. So May 30th, kids should come to the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica. Yes. And there will be, what else will there will be happening there? Uh, there's going to be a raffle where we're giving out prizes, there's going to be information booths, there's going to be lots of games and it's and how many kids do you expect, or do you know how many kids that you would want to come? We want as many people as possible to come. How many came last year at the Science Museum? Um, a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, as, as president of this club, yes. uh, was it your idea to have these events and how it would work? Well, the founder of for you and I was actually kids at Beverly Hills High School and they went to Breathe LA to ask them to help out and then later I went on the Breathe LA website where I found materials to start my own For You and I club so we're, we're all sort of sections of For You and I. Excellent and of course what you're doing is very good and we wish you all the success mm -hmm. to get as many kids as you can to stop smoking. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Local Edition. I'm Jim Giggins.